you very much, uh, Madam Chairman, Madam Chairperson, <laughs> Honorable Ministers, Excellences, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, a warm welcome to all of you. It is an honor for me to address this highly esteemed gathering on behalf of the CRFM. We are delighted to be part of this important international conference to discuss one of the critical issues facing our region and the world. Indeed, the UN General Assembly in 1999 identified IUU fishing as, and I quote, one of the most severe problems affecting world fisheries. I am pleased that we have made significant strides since then in addressing IUU and fisheries crime. However, fisheries crime remains a major and exceedingly difficult problem for many developing countries with large ocean space, but with limited capacity and resources to monitor and protect their maritime domain. The 17 CRFM member states are highly dependent on the coastal and marine resources. The fish stocks in our waters not only provide significant source of food and nutrition for our people, but also contribute substantially to livelihoods, economic activities, trade, recreation, culture, and socioeconomic stability of many rural communities. However, the pillage and plunder of our marine resources by illegal operators and their engagement in other criminal activities, such as narcotics, small arms and people trafficking are major concerns for us. These activities undermined investments and sacrifices of our governments and stakeholders to protect, manage and use our fishery resources sustainably to improve economic development, eradicate poverty, etc. For these reasons, the member states of the CRFM are resolutely committed to combating IUU fishing and other forms of fisheries crime in the Caribbean through regional cooperation and concerted action. To support our commitment and determination, the CRFM, along with our member states and partners, have developed a number of regional policies and instruments to promote the sustainable use of our marine living resources, including, for example, the Caribbean Community Common Fisheries Policy, the Castries Declaration on Combating IUU Fishing, the Regional Strategy and Action Plan to Combat IUU Fishing, the wider regional working group on IUU Fishing. We have also been actively engaged in international fora to advocate for stronger and appropriate measures to combat fisheries crime, considering the special needs of small island developing states. And this includes working with the Food and Agriculture Organization, the Western Central Atlantic Fisheries Commission, UNODC, and the WTO on the subsidies negotiations, and all to promote sustainable use of our marine resources. We prepared and submitted a very comprehensive amicus brief to the International Tribunal on the Law of the Sea when they considered case 21, dealing with IUU fishing and, and state responsibility. In December of 2020, we participated in a virtual Blue Justice Conference focused on the theme, fostering cooperation towards a fair blue economy free from fisheries crime. Following that conference in May of 2021, the Ministerial Council of the CRFM at their 15th regular meeting adopted resolution MC 156 of 2021 entitled Resolution Regarding the Copenhagen Declaration on Transnational Organized Crime in the Global Fishing Industry and the Blue Justice Initiative. The Council expressed strong support for the declaration and the Blue Justice Initiative and exhorted CRFM member states to sign the declaration. The Council also mandated the Secretariat CRFM Secretariat to convene a special ministerial meeting to allow countries wishing to do so to sign the declaration. And this conference was held in October of 2021. And 12 CRFM countries signed the declaration together in October 2021. Several of the ministers are participating in this meeting today, in person or virtually. 
I am also pleased to announce that the minister responsible for fisheries from the Commonwealth of Dominica will be signing the declaration during this conference, bringing 13 CRFM member states. In closing, let me say again that fisheries crime remains a serious matter for the Caribbean. We therefore remain committed to working together with each other and with our development partners and stakeholders to strengthen efforts to eradicate fisheries crime in our country. Finally, please permit me to express our profound gratitude to the government of Norway for their commitment and support for blue justice. Thank you very much and may God bless you.